Hey, this is Danielle, and I'm going to be talking about a trade in Tesla. So when you look at Tesla on the longer time frame chart, um, what you're going to see is that Tesla has recovered very well from this area of support down here at 192. We got a nice VZO buy signal right at that Fibonacci support level, and we were able to break through uh, this 200 simple very nicely. And the trend has shifted. We've gone from red to yellow to green to bright green. Um, and you can see that we're very close to breaking out above uh, the 50 simple here. So you can see the way that the 50 simple um, is just, you know, right above this price point. Um, and you can also see. Then if you look at the lower time frame charts, there are some setups. So by throwing a Fibonacci level on here, um, you can see that there's a target at 250 and then up at 252, you know, currently trading at 236. So it's some pretty decent upside. Um, and then if you look at these lower time frame charts, you can see that um, there is a very nice 78 minute squeeze. So you can see that the momentum has shifted lower, a little bit of a slingshot squeeze, and the trend has gone from green to red to yellow to green again. So that's a bullish looking chart. Uh, strikes me as something that may trigger to the upside and trade directly up into 250. If you look at even the lower time frame charts, you know, you've got a 30 minute squeeze here too. You've got a 15 minute squeeze that already fired, uh, but it looks like it's gone back into consolidation mode. So if you're looking at these uh, options chains and saying, okay, well, could this thing trade up into 250? And if so, when, you know, you're currently trading at 236. So with an expected move of $20 into the 15th of December, that would actually line you up pretty well to go right into 250. And I suspect that if we look at the volume and the open interest, we're going to see that there's quite a bit of open interest here. If you look at this strike price, where you can actually see it, uh, 47,000 contracts at the 250 strike price. So I think that it makes sense to look at, you know, uh, 235, you can do like 235 um, to 250 up into 265. So when you look at that, you know, you can do something like this, like $15 wide for $3 credit, or sorry, $3 debit, not a credit, silly me. Um, for $15 wide butterfly, I mean, that's a pretty solid uh, risk to reward. You have something that's just slightly in the money. Um, you know, your target would be $250. You can even stretch it out a little bit more and, you know, go into the end of the year, which would give you time to kind of like encapsulate the Santa rally timeframe. Um, if you did that, it'd actually be even cheaper because the expected move is, you know, at that point, expected move is 25 bucks. So it's kind of outside of the range. But if you wanted to give yourself some more time, you could give yourself until the end of December. Uh, but either way, you know, with the market a little bit stagnant right here, um, the NASDAQ futures are right up against 16,000, you know, typically you get a little bit sticky on these stocks uh, on those daily and weekly timeframes, but you can look for these lower timeframe setups just to, you know, give you a move right up into the next zone. So that is about all I have for you today. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Other than that, look forward to seeing those of you in the trading room who are in the trading room. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Hey, traders. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to make sure that you get all of our free trading content, make sure you hit subscribe. And also, give us a like and comment down below. If you want to learn more about us and if you want to join us for live trading in real markets with real money, make sure you go to simplertrading.com where you can join us for more info. Thank you very much and have a great day.